Hi, I'm Anastasia from Tech City News and this is your Week in Tech. Eight seems to be the magic number this week as investments keep rolling in, with Gusto raising $8.3 million and Semmel raising $8 million. Gusto is a recipe box delivery startup focusing on reduced food waste and promoting healthy eating. Their total investment this year has reached an impressive $10 million. Meanwhile, in Oxford, Semmel boasts high-profile clients including Credit Suisse, NASA and Dell. They'll be using their investment to expand into the US. And on the international front, watch out today for possibly the biggest IPO in history. Alibaba's flotation could raise as much as $25 billion, making it the third largest tech company in the world. It's business time for Instagram, as their warnings of advertising is about to become a reality in the UK. The company say they want adverts to be as natural as the posts that brands share right now. But despite an initial test receiving 18,000 likes, many Instagrammers are expressing their frustration online. From a business perspective, it seems like a necessary move, as the company was bought by Facebook in 2012 for $750 million, despite not making a profit. This week, previous Elevator Pitch winner, My Beauty Compare, is hiring. Here's Nadima to tell you more. MyBeautyCompare.com is the fast and easy way to discover products that match your profile. We're currently hiring software engineers to pioneer personalized shopping. For more information, check out mybeautycompare.com forward slash work. It's a viewer special now as General Assembly are offering Tech City News viewers a three month free access to their online library of classes. Topics include tech, business and design. The much anticipated iPhone 6 is now on shelves and sales have not disappointed with Apple pre-selling 4 million units in under 24 hours. Along with the new look, the iPhone 6 came with iOS 8. The new operating system offers time-lapse video, easy to send voice messages and keyboard extensions. This means Tech City veteran SwiftKey is now available on iPhone. Also included is Apple's new health kit, but an unexpected bug meant that the firm had to pull the plug at the last minute. They're hoping to have the issue resolved by the end of the month. Our download of the week is one of the biggest success stories in the London tech scene. TransferWise launched their new app this week and here's Christo to tell you more. TransferWise is an app that lets you send money abroad about 10 times cheaper than with your bank. Banks usually put hidden fees in the exchange rate when you move from one currency to the other. But TransferWise is exchanging money between people, like Airbnb and Uber. Series 4 of our famous Elevator Pitch series launches next week. We took 11 startups in a ride in the iconic taxi around East London to deliver their pitch. This time companies range from hardware to health data. And since the first series, Elevator Pitches have raised a grand total of $36 million. Look out for episode one next week. And finally, who wouldn't want a free U2 album? Well, thousands of iTunes users weren't impressed with Apple's gift. At the big launch last week, Apple users were given U2's latest album, but due to a big backlash, Apple had to quickly install a delete button for those who wanted to get rid of said gift. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.